Hello, I hope you are having a great day because I want to show you something important today. So let's begin. Today we are going to talk about a math problem which was solved by Carl Friedrich Gauss and it can be stated as the following question. What is 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on plus 98 plus 99 plus 100? Hmm? On the right side we have this new type of calculator and it works like this. If I write 1 plus 1 we get 2. Writing 2 times 3 gives us 6. What about 3 to the power of 2? It's 9. Ok, now we are ready to tackle our problem. We can represent numbers from 1 to 100 as dots. 1 dot, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. We can see that this starts to look like a triangle that has width of 100 and height of 100. So adding all numbers from 1 to 100 will be the area of our triangle. When we draw this triangle again and we will complement it with the same triangle, we get a rectangle with interesting sides. Its height will be equal to 101 because we are adding two triangles and its width will stay 100. By multiplying width and height we get the area of the rectangle. And of course we have to divide it by 2 because we want an area of the single triangle. When we write this into our calculator it tells us that the answer is 5050. Nice. Now, do you think there is a faster way to add all those numbers? Yes, there is. This calculator knows how to deal with groups of numbers. Let's see how that works. When I write 1 colon 10, we get all numbers from 1 to 10. If I write a 0, it will be 1 through 100. We can also do an addition on all these numbers. For example, we can add 1, 10, 100 or even another group of numbers. This superpower enables us to do really useful stuff. Look, if we want to do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, we can do it like this. We take numbers 1 through 4 and we use this vertical line called reduce in combination with plus. As you can see, we got the same answer as if we had added all those numbers. So if we want to add all numbers from 1 to 100, we can simply add them up and we got our answer. Pretty cool, huh?